Hey everybody, Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Today we're checking out Sarah Milliken and the funniest audience moments ever. Uh, before we do, we're going to hit Sarah with a like and subscribe on the original video. That's the important part to show support wherever we go. And the easiest way to show support is with a like and subscribe. All of her socials will be in the description below as well as a link to the original video so you can go check that out. Um, that being said, let's get into this. Well, when we first started going out, uh, we weren't really even girlfriend and boyfriend. It was really early days in our relationship. We decided to go away on a dirty weekend. Give us a cheer if you've ever been on a dirty weekend. There's a lot of you, but there will be more of you, but you will have just realised that it wasn't with the person you're sitting beside. <laughs> Woo! Oh, no! <laughs> She's got a point. I'd never been on a dirty weekend. I didn't know what sorts of things you're supposed to take. Let's get some suggestions from you guys. Let's start at the top, because that worked well last time. Anybody in the top level want to shout out what you think you take on a dirty... God, I haven't even finished the fucking sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lady said handcuffs. What kind of handcuffs? I thought that's what she said. Furry. Oh. Furry. <laughs> last time I was, I was working in Newcastle, a lady was on this level and she shouted out, handcuffs, like that. And I said, oh, have you got the heavy duty ones or the fluffy ones? And she said, I'm not telling you that. I'm sitting beside me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you still shouted out fucking handcuffs. Right. There was a fella that... <laughs> she's got a point. She did shout it out. So then she's going to clam up because she's sitting beside her mom. <laughs> she got a point. You still shouted out fucking handcuffs. Mm -hmm. There was a fella the other day shouted out a bag of lube and I was like, I'm pretty sure it comes in a tube. <laughs> I imagined it being like an Asda bag for life and he just dipped himself in every now and again. <laughs> Anybody else upstairs want to shout? A rabbit. A rabbit. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought for a minute I was like, no. <laughs> you mean, yeah, because I was in Cheltenham and three people shouted out rabbit one after the other and I thought, fucking hell, Chaz and Dave are in. <laughs> <laughs> Next level down, up a circle. Anybody got a suggestion what you take on a dirty weekend? Anal beads. Hey, where are you? Where's hello flower? Anal beads. <laughs> wow. Have you have you have you I don't, why am I whispering? I'm in the microphone. <laughs> Nobody else is listening, Flower. Have you got anal beads? I've got plenty of things. <laughs> <laughs> I've got loads of things. I've got, you know, handbag and that. <laughs> Is that the most extreme thing you've got, love? No. no. <laughs> I didn't think it was. Now tell me about anal beads. Uh, they go up your arsehole. I figured that bit out myself. <laughs> Can you still wear them as jewellery after that, though? <laughs> Just make sure you've always got brown earrings and then you're fine. <laughs> I was not expecting that comment. <laughs> make sure you've also got brown earrings in. <laughs> you've always got brown earrings and then you're fine. <laughs> Anybody else in the top two sections? Willy Warmers. A Willy Warmer. <laughs> Why is it going to be so cold? <laughs> I feel sad for the Willy, do you? I mean, there is some way you could keep it warm, love. <laughs> That's not an offer. Fuck, that sounded like a date. <laughs> uh, why would you take a Willy Warmer, love? A man's always cold. Mine's always <laughs> cold. <laughs> 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 you could tell before she even flashed to him that it was an old man. It, it, it's comfort over anything else, right? <laughs> Everything else don't matter. As long as you're comfortable. <laughs> the man's always cold. <laughs> Have you tried just giving it a good roll? Let's come down the, the uh, grand circle, anybody? A cucumber. A cucumber? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not taking salad.
<laughs> Anybody else in this middle section? Cake, where are you, love? <laughs> now you're fucking talking. <laughs> now, is the cake for eating or like for... I was gonna... I don't know what that was. <laughs> I was gonna say smearing, but that feels like a really bad word. <laughs> smearing. Is the cake for smearing or for eating, love? Everything, or oh, a little bit of both. I like that. There was a lady the other day who said chocolate body paint, and I said, well, only if I can paint it on my palms and lick it off myself, because I'm not fucking sharing. No, <laughs> 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 oh, you stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's definitely you making me do those noises. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there was another lady shouting, shout again, love. Bread. A friend. Oh. <laughs> Bread. Bread. <laughs> it was a, a couple of weeks ago, somebody shouted out, creme fraiche, and I thought, ooh. And then when I got off stage, she sent me a message on Twitter saying, no, I said femme fresh. Oh. <laughs> uh, anybody else in that section? A ball gag. A ball gag? <laughs> That's something you haven't got, isn't it, love? <laughs> there was a lady, a lady said, bondage gear. And I said, do you tie your partner up or does your partner tie you up? And she said, I tie him up and then I fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> now let's do the, the, the rest of the boxes. And anybody downstairs got a suggestion what you take on a dirty weekend? What was that? Blowtorch. Hold on, hold on. A what? <laughs> A blow... Did you really say a blowtorch? <laughs> In case you fancied a creme brulee. <laughs> and was there another one over here? Via Where's the Viagra? Where did you... That you there? Oh, how you doing? You all right, love? <laughs> Is that, does that work for you? That's how she was made. That's how she was made. <laughs> Has she just found out as well, or? <laughs> oh, look at her, she's mortified. <laughs> so is it, lovely girl, hello, is it good to know that your dad had a proper all weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Two nights in a row. <laughs> what about the bit, like the daytime, is it like that through the day as well, or, you know, how do you get your clothes on? You just push it down, and then does it like boy, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm always disappointed they don't do that noise. It was Butlins. <laughs> Viagra mm. Butlins. Mm. Sounds like a Mills and Boone, doesn't it? <laughs> it was the lady said uh, crotchless pants, and I thought, well, I've often got a hole in, but it's never in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> but it, one thing you've forgotten as well is you, if you're going to take your rabbit, if you're, you're going to take your, uh, you're going to take batteries. You've got to take spare batteries because you don't want uh, to turn into a wow wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All I'm doing now is stirring it. <laughs> I rang my fella uh, before we went away and I said to him, I've been to family planning and he must have thought this isn't going to be sexy at all. I said, I've got some condoms because I'd heard they were free there and I love a bargain. <laughs> and he said, well, that's good, that's good. I said, I've got 36, do you think that'll be enough? And quick as a flash, he just went, well, you can leave 32 of them at home. <laughs> and I thought, that's still four though, isn't it? <laughs> and he went, we'll use two of those for water balloons. <laughs> <laughs> to know that he had activities planned though. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. Shout out anybody in the room who's ever broken anything during sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, takes a bit of settling. What what did yep, yeah, you broke something? What, where were you? Lamp. A lamp or a lamb. <laughs> What about you guys? Ever broken anything? Broken a coffee table once.
shouldn't have been on there, but eh, it is what it is. Young days. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, love? Are you, where are you? There you are. Hello, love. It was a lamp. What kind of lamp? It had a, like, ceramic base to it. Oh, ceramic base. <laughs> oh. And did it just... Was it, like, movement and it just toppled off, or...? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Did anybody get hurt, or was it all right? No, it was all fine. It was all right. So we've got a, a lamp stroke lamb <laughs> from the lady over there. <laughs> lamp is a good answer. Thank you very much. What else we got? A bed. Where are you, love? Hello, flower. Up there. Uh, and you broke the bed. Was it fixable or did you have to buy a new one? You got a new one. Okay, there's lots of giggling going on there. Uh, is, it, is, it, look, is it the partner that you're with? <laughs> well, I mean, sorry, but if you sit in couples like that, I'm going to make assumptions about your flower. Right. Uh, so it's this lady here, the one that's looking desperately like she wishes she wasn't here. Uh, so did you insist on the new bed? Was it a chance to get a new bed? It was at uni, and it, the landlord said you had to buy a new bed. <laughs> did he come in and inspect it? <coughs> did you lose your bond? It's what happens, isn't it, when you fuck a bed to death? <laughs> Somebody's gonna have to go. <coughs> was anybody hurt, or was it all all right? It was fine. So we've got a bed, thank you very much, couple, who love sitting next to each other so much. Uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, so we've got a bed and, uh, and we've got a lamp. What else we got? The dessert table. A dinner table. Who said a dinner table? A bird table. Dessert table. Were you the bird on the table? What did you say? Shout louder. A dessert table. <laughs> All of my tables are dessert tables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing, but are you quite posh? <laughs> well, this is for the bruschetta. Uh, <laughs> then we move over here, and we've got... No. Sausage mash, you know. I uh, mm. can't even think of a posh main course. Did you say cock or van? Fucking surprise! He's <laughs> 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 got it on the fucking brain! <laughs> <laughs> Do you really have a table just for desserts? <laughs> <laughs> Still stuck yes. on that one. <laughs> oh, you worked in a restaurant, so you're really not posh. No. <laughs> <laughs> and was it? Did it have? Why were you having sex at work? <laughs> like, that was at least 60% of the room going. My sex life is rubbish. <laughs> So, was the restaurant still open? Were people like trying to get the jelly and ice cream from around you and that? <laughs> under the dessert table. Under the dessert table. Don't I feel like a proper tit now? <laughs> if it was me, I'd probably, I'd want to be in like writhing in amongst it. Mm. And then I'd just go, you know what fella, I don't really need you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Really. She's fun. See, I thought of a posh pudding. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did you get caught? No. Well, now everybody knows because it's on a DVD, isn't it? Right. Like, I think I used to work in Nando's with her. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert table is a good answer. Thank you very much, love. Uh, what else we got? A it was mirror. a what? A rear view mirror. A rear view mirror. <laughs> Something got kicked. Okay, there's lots of questions here. Um, <laughs> hello, by the way. Uh, was the car moving? <laughs> no. Okay, that's, that's safety first. Got to get that out of the way. <laughs> was it knocked off with an arse by any chance? <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Did you not notice till you were trying to drive away? <laughs> Just, there's something not right. No, it's not the spunk in me hair. It's... Um, Uh, you can't seem to see behind me. You've still got it in the cleft of your ass, love. Uh, <laughs> now, does that, did it shear off 
I just unclip? Because you can, you can slot them back in, can't you? Apparently. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Did it? It was quite an old car. And it's, oh, yeah, classy, aren't you? <laughs> Having sex in an old car. <laughs> well done. Was it through the day? No. No, uh, no, obviously. Yeah, look, you're like, what do you think? I am some kind of monster. <laughs> I don't know anybody else. You know how everybody talks about dogging and everything, and I, I don't know anybody who does it. Maybe I do. But every time I see two cars together, I just go, dogging. <laughs> just automatically. It can, one of them sometimes is an RAC van. <laughs> dogging. <laughs> no, they're not. So a rear view mirror is a very good answer. Thank you, Flower. Have we got anybody else? Blood vessels. Oh. Okay. We've gone all the way from lamp to blood vessels. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> where were the blood vessels? You thought he was dribbling on you? <laughs> we need to know the rest, otherwise I'll not sleep. Just put your fingers in your ears if you're already feeling a bit sick. <laughs> We've all, did you just say, you've all been there? <laughs> <laughs> Too much dribble. It's a telltale sign, pet. <laughs> you turned the lamp on and he looked like a butcher's slab. You looked like a butcher's slab. He was champion. <laughs> he was ready for the next goal. So, it, yes, it would be a passion killer. Right. If it wasn't a passion killer, there's something wrong with you. Exactly. So you didn't actually work out where the blood came from? It was, oh, it was his nose. But that's, it could have been a lot worse, because probably the most painful one I've had so far, a man said he'd broken his banjo string. Oh. It's about cocks, you should like this one. <laughs> Snapping them and that. No. Uh, if you don't know what a banjo string is, uh, you should just Google it when you get in. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, I'm not your mum. Uh, oh, if it shouldn't be your mum that ever tells you that. No, things you need to know. What could snap on a cock? <laughs> <laughs> I love that noise when you say banjo string, though, and, and a lot of the people in the room know what it is, and other people are going, why was he playing a banjo? <laughs> I don't get it. It doesn't right. sound very sexy to me. It's not a sexy instrument. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Flower. God, I hope everybody's all right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, there was a man, actually, I did a, a show and a man shouted out that he'd broken his foot during sex. And I said, did you carry on or did you stop? And he said, carried on. <laughs> and I recognised his accent. He was a Geordie. And I thought he probably didn't even put his fucking pie down. <laughs> But I know it's a very personal question, and I'm grateful to those of you who did join in. Thank you very much. What sometimes happens is people go, I'm not going to tell her in front of all those people, but I'll send her an email when I get in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I've got an email. Oh, oh. <laughs> Although I have got a man who, uh, a man who sorts my website out, so he actually filters my emails. Mm -hmm. Mainly because I'm not very technical, but also because for a while I was getting loads of pictures of men's cocks just sent to me. And now he can print them off so I can put them on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> just as a border, it's not too much. <laughs> Would you like to sleep in the cock room this evening? <laughs> <laughs> well, probably, my, the, probably the best one that I've ever had by email, a lady said she'd broken a man's pelvis. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. it was a one night stand, she was on top, he was screaming, she thought he was having a marvellous time. Ow. But my favourite one in a, in, a, in a show, the lady said she'd broken a man's spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all done that from time to time. Right. I brought my vibrator once, that counts, right? Um, and normally when I break things, I give them to me dad to fix. <laughs> Can I do that? So I just watch it off the bedside cabinet and it got to go on again. It's not really a joke, that one. It's just a tip for the ladies. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know what would be great? My brand new show, Bobby Dazzler, is out now and available exclusively on my... On her website. Uh, this, this was... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is funny. She, I, I like her. She's, she's hilarious. Her and her husband, uh, Gary Delaney. They are both... He's more with he's he's more with the one-liners. Um, he's really fast with the one-liners. 
Uh, but she's more of a storyteller in a way. Because she'll build up on a joke, whereas he's one right after the other. But uh, this was funny. Uh, I would love to hear you guys' comments on this in the... Or your guys' thoughts on this in the comments. And let me know what else I need to look for from Sarah or anyone else. And I will get there as soon as I can. That is just about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. And I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here at Jerry J.